Hi there, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In this video, we'll be looking at various gas settings in MetaMask. First of all, we'll look at changing gas settings in MetaMask, which is relatively straightforward, but also we'll look at advanced gas settings and also how you can preset a certain amount of gas in your MetaMask. So when you are in a gas war, so a situation where gas prices are going up very, very fast and you may need to push your gas fee way above what's the typical market value, Essentially, well, you need to act very, very quickly in such situation. So we'll look at how can you preset your MetaMask to make sure that when it comes to, to a gas war, you have everything ready to go and you can just enter the settings and hopefully then that will give you an edge and push your transaction before other transactions. So first of all, of course, I assume that you already have MetaMask installed. And also I assume that you have access to some platform that allows you to track gas prices. I use Block Native Gas Estimator. You can use a different one if you prefer. I mean, this is just the one I happen to use. So a platform like this gives us an indication of what are current gas prices and what are the numbers we need to enter to in order to push our transaction through as quickly as possible. So at the moment, well, the network is very quiet. So all I would need to make sure that my transaction goes through with 99% probability or there's 99% probability of this transaction being included in the next block is max fee of 20 and priority fee of two GUI, which is not much at all. It would be probably a couple of dollars if that. However, if there is a gas war and the prices of gas are spiking very, very rapidly, those figures will be changing very, very quickly. And in fact, this interface probably will not be able to keep up with the increasing gas prices. And you may see this max fee going up to hundreds or even thousands of GUI. It rarely happens, but it does happen. It certainly is or used to be relatively common in a bull run when NFT projects were minting, popular NFT projects were minting. And it was quite common that the gas prices then would spike to hundreds or thousands of GUI. So how can you then prepare MetaMask for, for a gas war? How you can enter those settings? Well, if you go to MetaMask, it doesn't matter whether it's in a full view window or just, just a little pop-up here. I will try to send a bit of ETH to just some other account. It doesn't matter what kind of transaction it is. In principle, will always remain the same. So I'm just sending 0 0.01 ETH to a, another account. So we can see here estimated gas. And of course, that keeps updating as the network changes or the prices change. I'm not sure why it says that the network is busy. Uh, at the moment, the network definitely is not busy, but never mind. And here you can click on this icon, Fox icon, and it will give you a few options, low market and aggressive. Well, market is the default option. And as you can see, it's expected that it will take about 30 seconds to process this transaction. Low, it's, it's slower. It will save you a tiny bit of gas, but then the transaction can take tens of seconds, maybe even minutes, depending again how the network changes. If the network gets busier, then of course this transaction will get pushed further and further down. And then you have also aggressive setting, which is bumped up slightly higher. I mean, you can see here by the numbers roughly what's the percentage difference between them, right? And that gives you gives your transaction a bit of a push. But this may not be enough, even in a relatively quiet market, if you want to push transaction through very, very fast. You may need to pick aggressive setting, and then after that, you still may need to speed it up in order for it to go through really quickly. However, there's also this advanced option here. And to be able to access advanced settings, first of all, you have to enable, first of all, you have to go to this colorful icon here at the top, go to settings, and in settings under advanced, you have an option to enable advanced gas controls. So that's where you would switch it on. And then also you can go to experimental and you can here enable enhanced gas fee UI, which may be also useful. So once this is done, you can then go back to trying to send a transaction. And if you want to preset a certain amount of gas, you would essentially just need to send some ETH to yourself. So you could pick your own account. So for example, if I come out of it, I could just copy my own account, click send, enter this account number here, send zero ETH. 
And then here under market, I can go to advanced and here I can actually play with those settings. So as you can see here, I can actually input specific maximum base fee and priority fee. Now, some people suggest that in an event of a gas war, you need to enter the same amount in both, for example, 500 GUI base fee and 500 GUI priority fee. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Priority fee doesn't have to be very high at all. Something like probably 10 GUI would be more than enough in vast majority of situations, maybe 20 if you really want to push it. There is absolutely no reason to put hundreds or thousands of GUI here because if your transaction fails, you will just lose this money. It's, it's literally pointless. Important number you need to change is the max base fee. And that's essentially whatever you expect it to be during the gas war. You have to bear in mind that at the moment, relying on this would be of no use because, well, I could put max fee 18 or even bump it up to, I don't know, 30 or something. But if there is a gas war, that would be probably 500 or 1000 or something like that. So you just have to gauge depending on how busy the market is or what people are saying in Discord servers and so on, roughly how high you should go with this, with this base fee. So I could enter, for example, 1000. You have to be aware that these estimates here are not very useful if, let's say, you are minting an NFT or buying altcoins or something like that, because they are based on gas limit of 21,000 units. 21,000 units of gas is the amount required to send any cryptocurrency or well, Ethereum between two different wallets or other Ethereum-based cryptocurrency between two different wallets or NFT or whatever. However, if you are minting an NFT or you're trying to buy an altcoin on a decentralized exchange such as Uniswap or other similar scenario, this gas limit will be much higher. You cannot really edit it here. You should leave this always alone because, well, you can in theory edit it, but unless you know exactly how much gas is required, how many units of gas are required for a transaction, you shouldn't really play with this setting. So just bear in mind that more complex transactions, such as minting NFTs or exchanging tokens on an exchange, will result in larger amount of gas, which then you multiply by the current cost of gas, which is what you are preset here. And therefore, these figures will be substantially higher. So for example, it may cost you 100,000 units of gas or 200,000 units of gas. So five or 10 times more than just simply sending ETH between two different wallets. So you would have to multiply this as by five or by 10. So for example, it would be 0.1 or 0.2 ETH to, to, con to do this transaction using those particular gas settings. How high this max base fee should be? Well, like I said, it's it's difficult to say. It depends how busy the market is. It depends how hyped up the project is. Very often, something between 500 and 1,000 should be more than enough. Really, really hyped up projects, like, for example, when the other side was minting, so the Borde Piacht Club metaverse in, I think it was April, May uh, 2022. That's when gas spiked to some absolutely ridiculous values. Something like 5,000 GUI would, wasn't enough to push your transaction through. You had to up, bump it up to six, 7,000. I think mine went through with 5,500 or something like that. But this is about as high as gas fees ever went, right? So during that particular project, when it was minting, people were setting, I think the highest fees max base fees were somewhere between 10 and 20,000 GUI. Of course, that would push the transactions through really, really fast, but also would result in absolutely ridiculous gas fees in multiple ETH. So a lot of people went with something lower, something between five and 8,000. And that, I think 5,000 was sort of borderline. Some transactions went through, some of them didn't. But this gives you an idea, well, this is like the absolute top, so far at least. Well depending on how much hype there is, how many people are likely to mean the project, well, you then just go down from that figure. So let's say from that 5,000 GUI all the way down to whatever is the current average on the market. So like at the moment, well, gas is dirt cheap. It's like, what, about 20 GUI or so. If we were in a bull market, this would be probably, let's say 100 GUI or 200 GUI, even when the market is relatively quiet, as in there's nothing crazy happening at this particular point in time. So then 
you use this and the absolute maximum of like the most hyped up project as your extremes and then you just go with something in between so like i said in most cases there will be a few hundred way so maybe i don't know let's say 500 priority fee would be 10 and then you can here save those new values as a default for your advanced setting that's really important and as you can see it will always use these values and advanced setting as default you hit save now and now you can see here that advanced is already pre-selected for this transaction if i hit confirm it will use those gas settings i've just created this will push my transaction through really really fast but of course 99 percent of the time you don't really want to do it because it's just wasted gas right so this is how you preset your metamask when you are preparing for a gas war however once you are done with this you have to remember to go back to your gas settings go to advanced and untick this box so then when you do the next transaction i'll just reject it and hopefully now it will just pick standard gas settings so i'll go next and then as you can see it goes back to market and as you can see the current gas fee is like 29 cents while with my settings it was 54 cents and that's in a really 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 quiet market another thing that's important to understand about advanced gas settings is that max base fee will not necessarily be fully used if the market is not very very busy only a portion of this fee will be used it's just you're telling metamask how much you are prepared to spend in order to push that, this transaction through it will of course will always be more than what's absolutely necessary because it will always keep pushing it as fast as possible but it's not necessary the whole amount priority fee will always be fully spent so if you put too high fee in this box well if your transaction fails or if there if there was no need to push it quite this far as in overall because maybe there wasn't actually that much traffic on the network and it wasn't quite as bad gas for as you expected well that pri priority fee will be burned anyway so so you'll lose all of that so just remember priority fee something around 10 to 20 guay is more than enough even in an extreme gas war max base fee anything from few hundreds to few thousands depending how big the project is how essentially how bad you want to to make sure that you get it and then of course you just look at what's happening on the network as a as a guidance in terms of how busy the network is i hope this video was helpful just as a final thought you have to remember that gas settings may change over time so that's both in terms of how gas actually works on the ethereum network although that's probably something that will be changing over months or even years but more importantly also of course metamask can change their interface once it changes i will try to make a new video as soon as possible but for now this is how you change gas settings in metamask and also this is how you can preset your metamask for a gas war and then just don't remember to untick that box and essentially to make sure that you don't lose too much gas on any other transaction as always thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you next time bye Thank you.